Welcome to Swamp Bites here at Swamp Shangri-La Rural Living. On today's episode, Jay will discuss and demonstrate using Little Red, our Massey Ferguson tractor, how to shift gears with an old school manual transmission tractor. Jay has just signaled that he is ready, so let's go to Jay and he'll take it from here. Okay, guys, you can see I've drawn the shift pattern. That's the diagram on our stick right here. Whenever you get onto the back of a tractor, you get into a truck, whatever has a manual transmission, just remember it will be on an H pattern. You can see it looks like an H. It'll be a single H, double stack, triple stack, quadruple stacked H pattern, whatever the call out is. So right here, you can see the limits of travel for your stick shift. These are known as walls on either side. That is a unofficial terminology. So basically, if you want to put this in reverse, you'd shift over to the left wall and shift forward. And then you would be in reverse. At the same time, if you wanted to put in the first gear then, you just would pull it all the way back. You go through your neutral stage as far as if it's not in gear, it's referred to being a neutral. Just for your knowledge base so we go reverse one click into neutral and then all the way back into first gear as you heard me say in the other video that's pretty much where you only need to worry about being for the most part because you're uh, not going to be doing a lot of operations outside that now if you really wanted to put it into first gear i was burning second gear out of first gear Shift up, get up in mid-neutral, all the way to the right wall, and all the way forward into second. So, we are going to walk you through this, and I'm going to show you about using the clutch, and also about using the walls for your indicators. Now, there's no uh, guide springs or mid-springs on most tractor transmissions like you would find on heavier gauge transmissions so it isn't going to be you pop it out of gear and it automatically writes itself you pop it out of gear you pop it out of gear so it's like a worn out transmission only from day one so stick around we're about to show you something all right guys we talked about walls left wall right wall left wall right wall the wall is the extent of your transmission and your ability to move your shifter it's also the extent of your transmission pattern so reverse you see it would be over on the left wall and all the way up that is reverse gear now you want to put it you're here right now now, if you want to put in first gear, you need to drop it down one. Clutch, all the way back. That is now first gear. As you can see in our shift pattern diagram. Now, let's say you need a little more speed, but not a lot. So, now we're going to take it all the way up. We're going to go to the right wall and up to put it into second gear. So, clutch, up, wall, up. Now you're in second gear, and everything's fine. As you can see. Now let's say you're going up a grade, or you're about to go down a grade, meaning a hill, or an incline. And you want to put it back in first gear. Clutch, neutral, wall, back. And now, guys, you're back in first gear. So, you look at a shifting pattern, look at a stick, check out the clutch, and that will show you the spread of shift. And don't forget about your range, you'll keep it in low range. The turtle, you'll either say low, 
high L or H, or it'll have a turtle or a rabbit diagram most of the time on there. So basically this is just to give a little more in-depth of how to operate this. And these two sticks are used in conjunction with each other. And again, don't ever worry about the high trans the high range. You're sticking to low range, and you got your operational gears right here. Just get on the back of it, guys, have fun with it, work your way through it, and get used to your piece of equipment. We hope you found this video helpful in operating a manual transmission tractor that you currently have or may have in the future. And we've enjoyed sharing this knowledge with you, our viewers. Farewell for now, and we'll see you on the next one.